Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. At this point, we're all pretty familiar with the fact that most journalists in the media are actually just political operatives for one of the two parties. The vast majority of them, of course, being operatives for the Democrat Party. Well, this is just another case of a Democrat Party activist uh, pretending to be a journalist, using fake news to hype Democrats, and then falling flat on their face. So this morning, an NBC reporter named Mariana Sotomayor could, just couldn't contain her instinct to go out there and promote Democrats. So she hopped on the Twitter and informed everybody that the announcement of the latest Democrat woman to run for president is historic because it's the first time that more than one woman has run for president. That's strange because I happen to remember all the way back to 2016 when Carly Fiorina and Michelle Bachman both ran for president. That's two women. That's more than one. Hmm. And of course, this quickly led to backlash on Twitter, prompting the NBC reporter to backtrack and provide this excuse. Correcting an earlier tweet, what I should have said is that the field of Democrat women presidential candidates is the largest in history. A quick Google search tells me that in 2004, six Democrat women ran for president. So my next question is, how does this person get a job at NBC News? I'm going to have to go ahead and assume that her political ideology probably played a big part. Because a journalist would have done just some basic research before tweeting out such declarations. A journalist wants to get to the facts. An activist just wants to promote their party. And they'll lie to do that if they have to. It's not a huge lie or anything, but it just goes to show that there are so many of these so-called reporters that are actually just left-wingers who are in their positions because they want to, quote, change the world. And a person that wants to change the world can rationalize all kinds of ways of doing that, including being political activists pretending to be a journalist. And that brings us to another little fib uttered by one of those women. Yesterday, Kamala Harris was giving an interview on a radio show called The Breakfast Club. And she made the claim that while in college, she smoked a lot of weed. And while she smoked this weed, she was listening to Tupac and Snoop Dogg. She made these comments uh, as she was expressing that she believes that weed should be legalized. So she's talking about how she thinks people get a lot of joy out of weed and it should be legal. And they ask her what kind of music she listened to when she used to smoke. And, they, you know, they asked, oh, was it Snoop? She said, oh, yeah, definitely Snoop, uh-huh. And definitely Tupac for sure. Now, I know a little something about Tupac and Snoop Dogg. I happen to grow up on both of them. And it did strike me that Kamala Harris is a little old to have been in college smoking weed and listening to Tupac and Snoop Dogg. It appears my suspicions were correct because Twitter instantly started calling her out on the lie. Nick Gillespie of Reason.com hilariously pointed out, how high did Kamala Harris get when she was smoking weed in college? High enough to claim she listened to Tupac and Snoop Dogg as a student? Though their debuts came after she graduated in 86 and law school in 89, as with her former position on legalization, she's scamming. So she's just playing to her base here and trying to win some street cred. I get it. On the left, she's still kind of seen as just another cop because in the past she's taken some pretty hard stances on law and order. But it'll be interesting to see if the media starts an ongoing tally of all Kamala Harris's lies. And for that matter, all of the lies for the Democrats running for president. I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that no, they will not. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my content and you agree with my message, head on over to my Patreon page and support me there. You can find a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks.